Hello and welcome to my May 2023 Sanders Lake Carbine Classic match video. I am Mauser Dude. I was running a red dot on my KP15 running all out of a chest rig today. So I'll try and just run from pulling mags from chest. I start off on stage one. Stage one was a repeat of IDPA stage and we might have run this once before too. So that's pretty cool. You have a choice of either going prone and, and taking some easy shots or running around a couple extra walls uh, making some hard shots so and at this match all the stages you start with 11 rounds in the first magazine so you'll see some reload gaming or not gaming going on here i decided to right shoulder it and do the hard lean there Next couple targets are open so you can gauge those uh, any order you want and then i've for some reason I thought about dumping an extra round and I must have dumped an extra round somewhere and oh yeah I did an extra round there and I had to do a mag change prone. I should have done it before going prone and uh, engaging. This stage didn't do super awesome. Uh, I was 20th with this mag change monkey business caught me out and it was just down one point. Then off to stage two. Stage two you started in the back of the pit and engaged a uh, far target in air quotes um, and then move down and engage the targets you see them so it's a lot of left right left right with a wall in the way and see me getting ready there and the sunlight you can kind of see the one target poking off to the left of that black barrel down there and all of them on the stage get two so you come down and if you're careful, you could get all the targets you need to from one side. And I wasted some time there. And ran dry. Didn't tie mag changes again. And then I knew there was that one and then that one. One more. Yep. This stage uh, was my best stage of the day. Came in seventh, uh, just down two points. The double tapping at that, that this distance was, was pretty fun. Started off stage three. Stage three was my disaster stage. This was a uh, to simulate a target diving. Uh, we use a series of five targets, kind of scattered out uh, in a diving kind of pattern. We've used that before, and that's, that's pretty neat. Um, you started off in, in the circle and had to take a step back to engage the kind of diving kind of target there. And you notice a lot of hesitation there. Um, this is in the bright sunlight, about 10.30 in the morning. And you see I have to adjust my optic there. Uh, I had no dot at all. Uh, it was invisible, it was just too too dim. I didn't auto adjust or something. That's the first time I've hit that problem. So, and then that hose went for the rest of the stage and it ended up uh, just being slow and down flat. So that wasn't, wasn't super awesome. I was off to stage four back in the shade and uh, this stage didn't do super awesome either. Uh, to back up again and engage a couple targets. And this was, there's a lot of shoot throughs with this you had to be careful of, no shoot th shoot throughs. I mean, these miniature no shoot kind of dog targets. So do left, middle, right here and be careful of the no shoot there. Come around here and you had a choice you could go to the left of the barrel, engage a, the far left target. I chose to do it the hard way and go off from the right side and use a little trickier target presentation. And you had this, this last target was a real hard lean, but you could get it and end up putting three, three in it. Uh, I think it was down zero on that target. So I only, only needed two. Uh, last stage, I was just down two for the the stage and came in 23rd, so that's just a little slow. And it was off to stage five to finish up the day. Stage five, you were presented with three targets in the open and you had to go, in the open you have to go near to far, so you have to engage the left one, left one first. And here we are waiting for the squad in the next bay to finish up. And this, it was super duper fast. 
and I'd miss time my mag change again. My raw time was really good on this. Uh, it was down about 13. Point nine or something, but I was down seven, so it was just just too fast, and I came in seventeenth overall on that stage, so not not super great. And here you can see my stage scores: twentieth, seventh, twenty ninth, twenty third, seventeen. Uh, considering the lack of pre preparation and mental state, it was pretty good. We did all right. Uh, Could have done better. That's a game. The as you can see, I came in, uh, ooh, I think 22nd, 21st. Um, and there was a, in the middle of the pack there, there wasn't much time. I think there was 12 seconds separating like fifth from 30th. So there was a pretty tight band in the middle there, uh, out of the top tier there. And as always, thanks to Marilee Gus and Sprinkles for all their support. I couldn't do without them. I'll see you next time. Later.